vintage lenses for video, my favorite way to use them. Now, much like their modern counterparts, filter threads between lenses can vary. And one way to remedy this is to find a cheap step up ring on Amazon to bring that front filter thread up to my filter size. The thing is though, I can't stand step up rings. Thankfully, there are alternatives that not only offer better functionality than a step up ring, they look a hell of a lot better as well. I hate step up rings. Hi everybody, today, we're talking sim rings. And if you're not familiar with what these do, they act as a simple step up ring that convert your lenses, which can have different filter diameters to a single uniform front. Now, this will allow you to easily fit your single size filters and caps to your lenses, as well as makes it easy to adapt matte boxes to those lenses. They're designed to save you both time and money. And honestly, they're quite good at accomplishing both. This is a sim ring, and there are three measurements you'll need to be aware of on this ring. The first is the outer diameter measurement. This ring has an 80 millimeter outer diameter and will fit 80 millimeter OD caps like this one. It will also fit 80 millimeter matte box openings. Also available are sim rings with 85, 95, and 114 millimeter outer diameter measurements. Now the second measurement is just inside the outer ring here. This is the front thread measurement. Now, this ring measures 77 millimeters, and that's the measurement you want to reference when considering filters. For example, I have a 77 millimeter variable ND, and this will fit the 77 millimeter thread on this sim ring. Now, the last measurement on the ring you'll need to be aware of is found on the back. This thread size screws into the lens you're adapting. Now this one has a 49 millimeter front thread and will fit any lens that has a front thread that size. When considering what ring to buy, it's best to first figure out what size filters you have and go from there. Now installing the sim ring is simple. Just line up the back of your ring with your lens and twist. It screws right on just like any other filter. To find the correct filter size for your lens, I suggest having the lens in hand and measuring it with a caliper. Now, if you don't have a caliper or are using an online source, it's best to check and reference multiple sources to confirm those measurements. Now, this Takamar has a 49 millimeter front thread, and I want to adapt this 77 millimeter variable ND filter to it. And in order to do that, I'll need to pick up the 49 to 77 millimeter sim ring where the 49 millimeter will fit the front diameter of my Takamar lens and the 77 millimeter will fit my variable ND filter. Third party step up rings you find on Amazon usually have a random outer diameter. That's why using sim rings keeps the front of your lenses uniform with one measurement. Now, since the SimMod custom caps are designed to fit a standard outer diameter, such as 80, 85, 95, or 114 millimeters, which are industry standard, they will not fit a step-up ring purchased on Amazon that has an outer diameter that measures 78.9 millimeters, for example. That's why you need a uniform front. Now, the Sim rings and caps are truly a professional standard ecosystem designed specifically to work with industry standard components. And ultimately, that's why I went with them. But the good news is there are lots of options out there that aren't step up rings. So shop around and get what works for you. So that pretty much sums up all you need to know about these sim rings. Simple, right? 